Hey guys, Agent J here today with you, and I thought today I would take you guys for a little look through the server I'm playing on at the moment. Um, it's Capital World, um, as you can see the address is on there, but I'll also put a link in the description below. Um, I've logged probably about four or five hours on here, um, and as you can see, haven't done a lot. Um, you basically start off with nothing. I was dropped out into the ocean, um, where this glass is. This is where I started, right on this bit of glass. Um, so I dove down into the ocean, got a little bit of dirt, came back up, started a little little plot, uh, went into spawn, uh, went and grabbed some quite a bit of dirt and reeds uh, and seeds. I uh, happened to stumble upon a village, um, and. I uh, brought it all back here, got this sort of knocked together fairly quickly, and and this is where I'm up to at the moment. So I thought I'd give you guys just a bit of a browse at it. Um, get you guys up here, and get you down there. Um, it's one of the better. Let me over there. It's one of the better servers that I've played on. I've played on a couple now. Um, and they're, they're not too bad on here. A couple of wankers, but um, I think you get that in any server you're going to play on. Um, you know? Um, but yeah. Not that I have anything against some people, but some people are just extremely childish. Um, you know, they ask to teleport to you and they'll send blazers to wherever you are. Um, yeah. I don't know. Not my not my kind of deal. But, um... Not you out. So, on this server, this is... I'm in the survival server. Um, they have a couple of different servers. They have a survival, uh, PvP survival. Um, they have... And they have the Skywalk. They have mini games. Um, which involve paintball, dodgeball, um, all those sorts of deals. Um, it also has an economy in it, which is fairly good, which is why I have all these reeds going up. I don't know if you guys can hear me that well with me cutting all this crap down. Um, so basically, you can buy anything you want from the market. So we'll go into the market now. Um, yes, because I need to buy some stuff from the market. So you go to the market. Simply type spawn, takes you in there, and over this way is wilderness, where you go to collect anything, and basically anything you want to forage for, um, and this way to, if you want to play the, the mini games, or if you want to go to Capital Survivor, um, if you want to become a citizen, it's 300 of their dollars. Um, every time you vote, there's four places to vote. Um, every time you vote, you get 50 bucks. Um, so it's not very hard to make money. Um, these reeds are a good source of income. The best source is probably the cocoa beans. Um, but yeah, basically, you can you start off with a bit of money in your account, but basically you can buy just about anything you want. Anything that um, you can think of, you can basically buy. Um, you can trade with other people if you want. But... Um, so you come in here, six seeds, 12 bucks. Or well, you can go into the wilderness and get them for free. Um, or you can come in here and you can sell them. But we are going to get rid of some reeds. So here we are. So 16 sugar cane, I'll get 18 bucks. So all I do is click on it and the money gets added to your account. Fairly simple process. Uh, you know, so I made what I made there, you know. Uh, Let's say eight by twenty, uh, one hundred and sixty bucks, you know, one hundred and fifty bucks. So it's not that hard. Um, I actually want to make a cocoa farm, so I need to purchase a few things while we're in here. This would be the only problem. You have to sort of look around for everything. Uh, nope. Um, what do we got here? Nothing that I need there. 
I'll go into the jungle and get the jungle wood that I need. Um, so there's different ranks on here. As you can see down the thing, uh, a capital ward, it depends how much you donate. You don't have to donate. You don't have to donate a thing. Um, that's purely optional to get um, special perks on top of um, things that you already get. Um, Well, there's nothing there. Um, you don't, yeah, you don't have to vote. I need some pistons. I want, I need two per. So let's say I'll make five. So we need ten. One, two, three, four, five. Have I got enough room? Yep. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They don't stack. Interesting. So we've got one, two, three, four, eight, ten. Perfecto. Alrighty. So we'll go up here, eat some food. Do, 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 do. Um, what was I saying? I forget now. Uh, I was too busy thinking about my coal farm. Yeah, so basically, um, anything you need, you can buy in here. Um, Anything you can grow, you can come in and sell for profit. Um, you can check your balance um, over here at the start where we came in. Wrong side. Too many sides to this thing. Um, oh, the donations. You do not have to donate at all. Totally free. Um, if you do donate, you get special privileges. Um, there's three different servers on here. You've got survival, PV PvP survival. Um, there you go, my balance, 2,600. I vote every day. Um, and the uh, Skywalk, which is the, the games and stuff. So to go home, simply type slash home. Go and put these in a chest. Um, once you've built a plot of land, once you get your plot of land, you start expanding it. Um, you simply, in the chat, ask the moderators to come and protect it. And no one can take anything from your your land at all. No one can come and take anything to protect your chest. You simply put a, um, a sign on them uh, with the private and your name. But this is all explained when you join. You go through a little tour and they tell you what to do. Um, fairly simple. Let's get rid of you. Dun, 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 dun. Get you back down here. Get you. Hey, hey, come back. Don't want you down there. Uh, I'll go and show you guys quickly what it's like to go through the other areas. Um, I'll take you out into the wilderness and show you what I mean. So get rid of you. Pumpkins, potatoes. You got you down there. I need food. I think I have some cooking. Do, 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 do. Yes, we do. And put your diamonds in the hoard. Alright, so to go out and have a look in the wilderness, um, oh, yeah, when I landed in my first, uh, first time I went to the wilderness, I happened across a village and I stole all their books and came back and made, um, all of these, which was lucky. Um, and then I just went and bought, I think I bought eight obsidian for a hundred bucks and I got 12 diamonds at the start. Uh, when you start, you get the 12 diamonds, sword, pick, shovel, and an axe. Um, I think it's 30... Uh, torches um, and a bit of food and off you go you go and do your thing but let's just go to spawn from spawn we're going to go out into the wilderness yoink, 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 yoink. have I got armor on? yes I do let's run run forest Oh, some burned to death. Right click on here, and it shoots you out into a random location. Someone's house out there, so this might be protected. Nope. The thing about when you go to these random locations is occasionally you'll come across a place where someone has already built. Um, you can choose to not choose your starting plot, and oh, that's cool. And what we got here? Empty chest. 
and an empty door. Lovely. Um, you can choose not to start there, and you can go um, out into this, into this, into the wilderness, and start building. Um, I probably should have done that because it's a pain for me to get anything. I wonder what they're building here. That looks cool. Um, I do enjoy coming out here because. Doink. So let's see if this is protected. Oh, not protected. So obviously someone's built this stuff and um, not asked for a moder moderator to come and protect it. Um, if they had a Ethier cabin. Demeter cabin, okay. Um, I wouldn't be allowed to open anything or take any of their stuff. Nope. Still not protected. Wow, so I could have ripped, I see I could have ripped that whole structure down. But I'm not that sort of player. Hey, hey. Go forward, go forward. Go forward. Let's go have a look at this guy's house. This looks cool. These flowers, great source. Ooh, what do you do? Oh. Okay, that's cool. Ah, you do not have permission to open in this area. So this has all been protected. Obviously, they've had a moderator come. Um... The one I, I most frequently talk to is Geo. Um, and you just say to him, I want to claim from, um, you know, from here all the way over to there. So he'll come and mark the four points of your building and no one can come and destroy anything, basically. Um, what does this say? Thanks so much. <laughs> Uh, cool. But yeah, so that's the gist of it. Um, you have a chat system, press T. You can talk to other people on here. 99% um, of them are, are nice people. Um, you get the occasional not nice person who simply just wants to ruin everyone's day, make life difficult. But other than that, everyone's very nice. If you need help... Um, all you need to do is ask, and someone someone on there will definitely tell you. There's always a moderator floating around. Um, the owner, Tedders, is also on. Um, he's pretty cool. He's always willing to, to help you if you need a hand with anything. So I'm just going to grab some of these because I'm going to build my house soon, and I'm going to use it to make some clay, and I'm going to dye it with these. Don't know what color yet. Not yellow. Maybe a bit of orange somewhere. I've actually considered, considered relocating out to one of these areas uh, closer to everyone else. Um, I do have two neighbours at the moment, which I'll show you when we go back. Let's grab all of these. Come back to me because I'm greedy. Um, man, and I can't get a horse where I am. I'm going to have to pay for a spawn egg and spawn me a horse, but then it's very random. You don't get to choose colour or anything. Um, but yeah, so that's a quick look around. Um, massive map. Um, everyone's very, very nice. Free to join. Um, simply go to Capital World MC and um, yeah, follow the follow the instructions. They give you the address to start up and um, away you go. So let's just go back to spawn. And then we can go to home. I'll just quickly show you my neighbours. So over in the distance, over there, when it renders, I have a little castle with a couple of boats. Uh, and then over this side, oops, yoink. Let's go around. I have a spaceship, which is massively cool. Um, obviously, he doesn't need to have access up. Who planted that? Random tree. Um, he doesn't need to have access because when I, when you type backslash home, it takes you to wherever your land is. So obviously he's he's nominated a block up there to be his house, um, and that's where it'll take him every single time. So it's good. Stops anyone else getting into your house. And um, yeah, so this is basically a couple of hours worth of work here. By the time I went and um, I mean caving a little bit, got a couple of things, um, went and got you know all the reeds. All the trees um, got this sort of settled out a little bit um, I'm going to extend this off for my cocoa farm 
and then I'm actually going to build up and then across the top of all of this and I'm going to have my house up there and I think I'll do um, maybe some cascading waterfall or lava over the side um, so that you can't see this stuff anymore. But yeah, thanks guys for having a look. I'll check back in it, um, you know, every couple of hours on here, um, just so you can see how far along I'm coming. And if any of you guys are on here, please say hello. Um, love to chat to you guys, and have a good day. Cheers.